we just couldn't be happier for our women to get this back and you know it's our third world championship and uh but having not had it for 16 years it was well earned when you get out to that big of a lead you got to relax and really enjoy the game i mean some of the other games were, were so tight to the end that you felt uh, nervous right to the last moment. But that was pretty neat to be in the final and be able to kick back and really enjoy everything that was going on. Just felt for the veterans, you know, that, that didn't get to play as much and were such great teammates like Abby Wambach and Christy Rampone. I mean, these two women are such an example for all college and pro athletes. Like, look, sometimes your role is on the bench. Sometimes your role is a reserve. But your role is always to be a great teammate. And I thought that's a side story to this thing that was really impressive. There's no doubt. As soon as the whistle blew, I was looking at the faces of all the players because I was trying to read, like, do they think it's over? Or are they, like, going to go in the locker room? And, you know, I was just thinking, goodness, you, you've got to give a good halftime there to keep everybody focused because anybody starts looking at the clock or start thinking, oh, we've won this. Japan was too good. As they showed, they scored two goals of their own. So, yeah, of course, all coaches were thinking, all right, what would I say at halftime? I'm glad I was just watching. <laughs> Known Coach Ellis for years and uh, couldn't be happier for her. And, and I think after some of the struggles she had in Final Fours in college, to see her be the world champion and the coach that has delivered it since Tony DiCicco, uh, what a rewarding thing to have this wonderfully dynamic, great communicator, great manager, and I think humble, just really humble woman who is a great leader. And I think if there's any character trait that we can all as coaches take from Jill, it's that she knows how to get a team to buy in. It's one of her best attributes. She got the best players in the world. Remember, we've got millionaires on this team, and then we've got girls that make teacher money. And she's got to mold all of them together in front of millions of people watching and get them to play together. You know, it's a superstar environment in the U.S. for women's national team soccer. So Jill's got to get all the credit she deserves for this.